Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a customized color depending on the event in your Google Calendar. So if you are already integrated your Google Calendar with AppSheet and uh, you wanted to have a customized color here depending on the title or depending on the event, I will show you how to do that. Just a quick uh, information. Uh, the way to add the calendar if you did not yet add it. So in order to add your personal calendar or other calendars in AppSheet, you have to go to your account, account settings. Mine, I already added it. Then you have to go to the sources. Then you can just click new data source. Look for the Google calendar here. So you can click that and then it will give you an option which calendar you would like to add. So you you can add multiple calendars on that. If you wanted to uh, to see how I added this calendar, I have another video for that. The link at the, at the description. So in this video, I'll show you how to add a multiple colors here depending on the title event. All right. So for the color, if you wanted to know the uh, the colors in AppSheet, so I'm here right now in the documentation of AppSheet. So the color that we're going to use is black, blue, green, orange, purple, red, yellow, and white. So we're going to use this color as a reference. All right. Then let's go to the app sheet. And in order to do that, uh, let's add a virtual column. All right. So view column, add the virtual column. So this could be color. I'm going just to name this as color type or co event color, let's say. And then here, you can use switch statement or you can use if statement as well. So I'm going to use here if statement. So here, based on the title here, based on the title, I already added an enum selection here. So if you have like a reference table, uh, depending, um, referencing what are the title or the event name, you can just uh, add it here in the title. You can go to uh, data validation and put the uh, list of titles you have. Uh, in this example, I just make it very simple. I just add it as enum type and with the selection A, B, C, D. All right, let's go back to the so here we're going to use if's title. So we're going to just um, if title is equals to A. So let's say I'm going to use, uh, let's say I'm going to use yellow. All right, comma. Then we have also the title is equals to, let's say, B. Then what will be the color? So the color will be, I'm going to use black. Make sure the spelling is correct. Yellow, black, and then I'm going to use orange. So if title is equals to orange so i'm going going to use uh, sorry if the title is, is equals to c then i'm going to use orange and so these are the titles i have if title is equals to d i will use let's say um orange purple red red Okay, I will use the red one. Okay, so make sure the spelling is correct. And another way to do this is you can use as well switch statement. So in this example, I'm going to use the if statement. All right, so this is how I, since I have just four example, I'm going to save this. And this event color, you have to change this into a color type save all 
Oh, so it giving it's giving an error. It's because in the color you need to add the values. So we're gonna use these values. So we have yellow, black, orange, and red. We're gonna go here and add the values here. And also we need to change the base type into a color. Then here we're gonna add yellow. Depending on the formula that you added in the virtual column, you can add it here. We have black. We have the orange. I have just four colors there, so orange and red. Alright, so these are the colors that can be found in my formula as well here. So we have yellow, black, orange, and red. Then save. Then we have to uh, customize the, the view. Going to the view, I created a view already for the calendar and I keep it as a calendar type. And the start date will be the start, start time will be the start, end date, description will be the title. The most important part here is the category. The category you have to choose the event color. Save. Now let's try if it's working. Okay, so in the form, you can add, you can customize the form as well. So in this example, I just need the following. So I don't need, let's say I don't need to put a location. Since this is an example only. Attend this, I don't want to put location. So I just need to put the description. Attend this, guys, by the way, that is e email selection, yeah? So let's say user select the, maybe I can add also the, uh, this correct? Let's say user select A, the title of the event is A, then in the description is, let me see, save it first. Okay, user select A, so the color should be based on the formula. Uh, based on the formula, the color is uh, yellow, okay? So the color should be here showing, it should be yellow, as you can see. You do need to show this. This is just an example that the formula is working. Then let's say this is yellow A event. Then once you save, it should give you an icon yellow here. I mean the color yellow. And if you wanted to change that, so I'm going to change this into B. And B is black actually, as you can see. As well, it changed the color. All right, let's add another one. Let's say I'm going to use D. And D is red, so let me just change the event date. Okay, so this is uh, red. Then once you save, it gives you a color coding here. All right, so this is how you're going to put a different colors depending on the, the, on the event using a virtual column and you can use this expression as an example if you learned something in this video don't forget to subscribe or comments if you have any questions and thank you so much for watching and see you next time in my next video